All right, all right, all right, all right. Come on in. You know the drill. Don't touch anything. Don't break anything. Don't smell anything. Came back from my favorite perfume shop, discount shop. Got to hang out with Samir. They're not open yet, but um, grabbed a couple of bottles here. This came in last night. We're going to open these. My scent of the day. Got a story about this. I got some, some more gifts from viewers. I'm totally feeling the love. Thank you so much. This is really special and meaningful um, from a very special viewer. And uh, I'm almost a little bit cautious in showing this, but I'm going to have to start rolling out some merch. Look what I got. You Smells Good t-shirts in black, of course, my favorite color. And you genius. I love it. Even though it's spelt wrong and the sizes are not fitting properly, but you know, it's it's the thought that counts and just the very generous, thoughtful, selfless gifts. I love it. Thank you so much to my very uh, special viewer. Let's go outside. We'll do the usual weather check, but don't, you know, just come on in, take your fucking clothes off or get comfortable. It's getting pretty late in the day. Where's the sun? There we go. Blinded by that sun. Very, very beautiful day. Um, having got much humidity, which is good. There he is. Hi, Chad. I see you. I know you're stalking me. Bye, Chad. Thanks for coming through. So I went to go see Samir, picked up some really cool things. They're not open yet, but he kind of had to sneak me in through the back door. And I was looking at some Lardizans, Lardizan Parfumer, and really, really interested in this house now. I kind of wish I was able to deep dive into them much sooner, but just with always chasing the things that I was, I wasn't able to. And my scent of the day was Timbuktu, a very gorgeous, smoky, incense-y, um, fruity fragrance. Really nice mango accord. Mango really dominates this thing. And then, you know, you get that smoke and incense. But I got a really nice compliment from this today. And I don't get a whole lot of compliments. And it was a compliment without actually being complimented. As I was rifling through um, Samir's Lardizans, I, I kind of... Asked him to pull out all his lardizans for when I come in. And he must have had about, oh man, 25, 30 lardizans on the table. And he had picked up the box of Timbuktu. And I said, that's what I'm wearing today. And he just looked at me dead in the eye. And he said, I'm buying this for myself. He said, it smells amazing. And I took that as a very sincere compliment, unsolicited. It was a compliment without actually saying anything. And um, that by far surpasses any com uh, compliment I've ever gotten. Uh, the other best compliment I ever got was from a lady at a gas station that came up behind me and said, you know, whatever you're wearing smells amazing. And that was Dior Homme 2011. But yeah, great, great compliment. Anyway, let's go back inside. I've got some things I want to open up. I'll save this. I'll save this for tomorrow or another day. I've got a couple of things here I'm going to open up. I'm just going to flip this camera around. All right, and I'm back. And this is the first purchase I've made in the last two and a half months. I've gone so long without buying anything. And 
One is a complete blind buy. The other I've smelt, uh, I actually had a sample once and it's a Zing from Lardisan Parfumer. And I had a sample once and it didn't really do a whole lot for me. I'm not sure why. It was like a, like a, one of those 0.7 mil samples that you would get from, from uh, Lucky Scent. And I had worn it after reading so many positive reviews and just really did nothing for me. And then when I went to go visit Ashton again, I, you know, I, I, I tried his bottle. I'm like, man, this is so much better than what I remember it smelling like, like on my skin. And then I had my eye out, like I've been watching for, for Zing to show up, you know, anywhere like the older bottle. And um, somebody had posted it in the Toronto group, one of the Toronto fragrance groups. And I jumped on it right away. Like I was on Facebook and I noticed the guy had posted it just 10 minutes earlier. So there's Zing and I got it for about half price, which is just awesome. And this one is, this is, I have absolutely no experience with this brand. Um, especially from their exclusive range. And this is Ellie Saab. And it is Essence Number no. 8 Santal. And I always wanted to check this brand out, but there's just absolutely no way we can test them in Toronto. There's no testers or there's very little exposure to them. And um, so when I saw it posted online for sale, again, this was a really, really good price for what it is. I think it's almost, I got it for about half of what it would retail for. So I, I, I did a, a quick, you know, a quick search on YouTube and, and there was two reviews of it and they were very both positive. And I was like, all right, it sounds good. Two reviewers that I, I really like and they both had given it a positive review. So. Let's, let's try this out. Oh, that's really fancy. I really love the packaging there. The bottles, really classy and elegant. Ellie Saab, very simple. I like that. Love the color of that, that really dark amber. So this is Santal. Let's try this. I'm just going to give a couple of sprays in the air. Really nice mist. Oh, wow. Yes. It's green. It's very green and woody. Obviously, I'm getting the sandalwood right away. It's a prominent. It's very creamy and warm, almost milky and f fruity. It's got a fr like a very slight fruity tinge to it. It's definitely smoky and spicy and a little bit incense-y. And it's warm. Almost sawdusty. It's a little bit of a sawdust accord to this. Hmm. I like this a lot. And the sandalwood, it reminds me of most, without doing a side by side comparison, would be um, Tam Dao from Datique, which I also love like a lot, but this is really good. It's, it, it's, it feels like it's really, um, finely tuned, really nicely crafted. Ellie Saab. I've definitely got my eye on, on this range and I'd love to try some more. And I'm not sure how e easy it's going to be, um, to pick them up, but I'm, I'm going to keep, keep my eye open. And this is Zing. The powerhouse. A lot's been said about Zing over the years. All right, let's try this. And that's the old school, the old packaging Zing. And that is, it looks like a woman on a tiger, just kind of straddling a tiger there. If you can see that. And then. I'm not sure what the new bottles look, um, smell like if they've changed at all, but I really like these old packaging. They're just a little bit more colorful and less dull than the, 
the new bottles. The new bottles are really bland and they're gray and they're dark. But essence number eight is still lingering in the air. I'm I'm still getting a lot of that. It's really nice. Like really nice. I, I can pick up a nice floral accord to this. Let me put some of this on skin. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm hit with a rubbery leather right away and a lot of musk. Almost pissy musk. Smoky, incensey, but buttery and warm. It's, oh, it's like animalic and, and almost fecal. Like the underbelly of a kitten or... It's definitely pissy and fecal, buttery, warm. It's like a buttered leather. Oh God, it's fucking unreal. I like this a lot. And this is what I love about perfume. This is what I love when you think outside of the box and you can get creative. And it's, it's conceptual, yet it's wearable. It's not... I, at least for me it is. This is, you know, it smells like piss and shit and buttery leather. And yet I feel like I could wear this every day. And, and it definitely has a lot of... Uh, almost like sour, fermenting, unwashed skin, like the crevices of under an armpit or an ash cheek or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. I get like the inside of an ass cheek that hasn't been washed for a few days and, and has done a lot of wiping. Zing is really good. I'm actually thrilled to own this. Zing. You know, I've, I've sat so long on the Lardizan brand that now I, I've, I've, I've picked up four more. You'll probably see in the next video, but, and they're all basically blind. I'm actually uh, really looking forward to discovering some more things from Lardizan. And I'm, I'm, I am looking for the older bottles. If there's something you want to recommend, I'd be happy to, to listen. But if you're familiar with either of these, let me know. What do you think about the LE Saab? This is blind. Are there any others that I should check out? And uh, Lardizan, this is definitely a, a fucking hit for me. I love this. I mean, this is good too, but I don't think it's as unique or as original. I've smelt this before. It's still really good, though. It's really nicely crafted. Francis Curtion, you know, his best work is outside of his own brand. And, you know, we've all heard that before. And this is true, again, For in this case. He does his best work for other brands. Guys, drop a comment down below. I love reading your comments. I love interacting with you guys and seeing you guys interact amongst each other on my channel. Uh, love when you guys send me shit. Thank you so much. Um, you know who you are. You're going to remain, remain anonymous. And uh, drop a like. We'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye for now.